These are creepy TikToks that will make you rethink your whole reality. Part two. First, Facebook knows every single website you visit, including all of the inappropriate ones. You can lie to anybody and clear your search history, but Facebook will always know what websites you visit. I don't understand why they do this, but they do, and it's extremely weird. There were witch tests that were given to the accused. If they failed, they were imprisoned or worse. One way they would see if you were a witch was the skin test, which wasn't much of a test. It just consisted of authorities looking over the accused to see if they had any moles, freckles, birthmarks, scars. Back in the day, this was proof that you were a witch. Imagine being thrown in jail because you got a mole or a freckle. I'm back, it's your boy F-I-T-C-I-T-E, and today we're looking at this compilation together. Your boy just got out of the gym, so you already know I'm pumped up. So we're gonna look at this compilation together, grab your ice cream, popcorn, whatever you want. Just make sure to subscribe and like the video so it gets pushed to way more people. The more people that like this video, I promise you, the more people will see the video. So let's try to get to like 100 likes, nothing crazy, I guess. Middle of the desert, and we look, and there's just like this staircase that goes to Nothing. nowhere. And like I see it and in Kim the middle of the desert. I see it and Kim sees it and we're both like, we get this really bad weird feeling and we're like, we need to go back and like find out what that is. It's like an eight mile city called Felicity and only a population of seven or something like that. There's, this is in Arizona? This yes. is in Arizona. And this really rich guy, He's a, what? He's a Rothschild. A Rothschild. Damn. He bought this town of Felicity and named it after his wife, Felicity. Wait, is this real? Who we yes. think we ran into. Can we make sure that this is real? They offer tours of this place. Oh, we did a tour. It was we did a tour. horrifying. Why? They tried to get us into this. They put us in this pyramid. <laughs> and they told made us, us to they, make a wish. They, 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 made, they made us try to get. They tried to get us in the center of the pyramid, in the center of the thing. Put our foot in the middle, save this thing, and make a wish, and then sign a contract. And I was mm -hmm. like, and we were like, I'm not doing that. And she was like, Well, it's the only part of the tour you have to do. And they go to do the tour. And that's when we said we don't want to do the tour anymore. We're gonna leave. And she was pissed. Yeah, I wouldn't do it either. I'd be like, Honestly, bro, you could stay mad, but I'm not doing that. That sounds like a, a ritual to me. Like, y'all not getting my soul. Hell no. Japanese Easter bullies experience a ghost a haunting at school. For carrying strange items inside his bag at school. However, the bullying wasn't an unusual occurrence in this school. There were many reports of victims being bullied. Some even going as far as to take their own lives because of it. Ah, that's far. Now, while they are inside the room, they hear an intense knocking on the door for a few moments before it stops. And then strange things begin to happen. I threw it out. He wants to come in. What's up with him? He wants to come in. What's up with him? He wants to come inside? Hey, wait a minute. You are so noisy. Wait, why are you making noise? Noisy. You're noisy. He's scary. He did it. He did it. Wait. Stop. Quit. What? What? They go outside to check the source of the banging after the door slammed so hard. But there was no one there. Shortly after, they capture something terrifying. Yes, he brought it. Very easy, like a child, right? Like a child, right? Like that? Not because of... Yo, these titles are too fast for me, my bad. Oh. oh! That's not funny. They return back inside the classroom oh, to check the guy's back, mm. and then blood suddenly starts to drip from the hand of the bully's leader. But they couldn't find the source. A few moments later, a creepy figure can be seen standing behind them. It is believed that this is the vengeful spirit of one of the students who lost her life to bully. Oh. Maybe that's why she is now tormenting these bullies. What the f is that? You know what was really funny in that? He was like, the bully leader. I was like, if you're watching this video and you're a bully leader, what are you doing with your life, bro? <laughs>
<laughs> my bad for those subtitle readings, bro. It was going so quick. It was like, pew, pew, pew. I was like, bro, I can't read that quick, bro. I'm not gonna lie, the guy watching on the security camera, wow. He was just there just like, oh, I just have my morning coffee. Look at this bozo about to fall off just recording it. Just like, <laughs> crazy. According to our daughter, we had two ghosts living in ghost? our last house. Is it a friendly ghost? I completely believe her. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. It's a That's because ghost? babies slash toddlers have no bias or filters. Okay. Their minds are completely open, and as a result, they're more likely to witness a spirit. Oh, just two. Okay. There were several times before she could talk that she would stare and point at the same empty corner of her room. Okay, so we don't need to be scared, right? This was the first time she said the wrong ghost, so I pulled out my phone to record. They were totally chill, so we weren't haunted or anything. We all just lived together. Yeah, yeah. The daddy ghost? And a mom goes. But you said they're nice. Right? So it's okay. We bought a new home about you two years ago. Scared, right? But I often so think about good? these two spirits and I hope they'll find okay. peace. Yeah, as I go down and down in the series, a lot of people have been saying that children can actually see possibly speak to spirits i don't know about um the facts on that but a lot of people have been saying that they can because i read do read some of you guys comments and you guys do say that children are more likely to see spirits man captures dicky dicky after staying in a japanese forest for losing penalty game for losing the penalty game to complete his penalty he had to enter the forest alone and record the entire thing from start to finish now for the most part of his stay in the forest, not much really happens. But comes night time, and that's when the Yurei come out, and he manages to capture something completely bone chilling. Watch closely. Oh, yeah. I can never be in that forest dark, bro. You're bugging. 17.01 a.m. How's that? 5 a.m.? It's already 17.10. 7 p.m.? What? <laughs> He said, huh? Eh? Huh? Oh, chow, 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 chow. Chow, chow. Eh? What is that? Huh? Dip, 
dip, dip, dip, dip, dip, dip, dip, dip, dip. Just dip. Huh? I said, huh? I told you to dip, dip. Oh. As he looks up from his phone and realizes how dark it's gotten, he notices what looks to be a female figure, or at least half of a figure, just crawling towards him in the midst of the forest, shrouded in darkness. Many people believe that this is Teke Teke. The ghost of a schoolgirl who is said to have fallen onto a railway line where her body was sliced in half. She is what we call an onryo or a vengeful spirit and is generally depicted to be wielding a scythe, attempting to cut her victims in half. Mm -mm, I'm not becoming a crawler, bro. Nah. Oh, I can see it. She's crawling her, her what way do you over. think of this capture? Is it real? Oh. Or is it just a hoax? You can judge. Look at her crawling, bro. If I'm being honest, she's so slow, I'll do the dash. I'm like, by the time she knows, she's not catching me. That's probably alligator speed if we're being honest. Would you go into that forest? Put that down in the comments. Okay. <laughs> Strong. Yeah. So this has been going on for the last 15 minutes. We were talking to the spirit and I guess we gave it too much energy and now things are getting worse. She too thinks I'm somehow messing with her, but we are so behind on closing. Like we have to still clean so much stuff. No. <laughs> and they just won't stop. Like the spirits won't give us a break right now. Oh, it's, oh never mind. Okay, let's go. I got, I'm literally out of breath. I'm so, so nervous right now. Okay, so this is what we deal with here at Swirls. It's currently 11.18 and we're still not home. And okay, there was a sound right there and I guarantee I just saw a shadow. I hope I caught that. See? The lights are not making it any better too. Look at the lights. Uh. I don't get it. Is there a reason that you're doing this right now? Yeah, I'm this not. is our main panel. Okay, it stopped. Okay, okay, chill, chill. Okay, so this is what I... <gasps> no way. Bro, like, I just caught that literally right in front of me. I literally just caught that in front of me. No one is here. Dude, I was just... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, come to the front. Come to the front now. Come on. Yeah, you. Okay. See, this is what I don't like. Just leave. I hear footsteps <laughs> from the attic right now. I'm literally still hearing it. I, I literally just saw a shadow. I'm not a shadow where? What's going on? Okay, now music's on. Nicole, come here. This is... Is anybody there? Okay. Hey, no, they're saying Juice Roll is haunting them, bro. Get out of here. Okay, so this is what I mean. And I'm just... I don't understand this. I really don't. Oh my god. 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 Okay, we need to get the lights on. Please come with me. Please come with me. Please go to the switch. Go to the main panel. Just go to the main panel. Okay, turn them on. Turn them on. Turn them on. I hope that I wasn't trying to say Juice Roll was haunting them, but I'm gonna be honest. At least now they have an excuse to show their manager. Be like, bro, look what was happening last night. Manager be like, what the? They're like, okay, everyone gets a week off. My boy going against the werewolf again. Oh! Yeah, if that was me, I would have just, pff, I don't even know. Imagine like a big werewolf creature attacking the elevator. Like, what would you even do? What could you even do? That's the real question. A patrolman at a Mexico City airport heard a mysterious banging coming from a seamlessly empty plane. 
What he discovered left him shaking for hours. Wow. Francisco had just finished a late night inspection. Francisco Hernandez, when he heard the noise around 3 a.m. Oh my. With only the flashlight on his phone to guide him. The 32 year old inspected the cabin to make sure there was no other people on board. Suddenly, a dark figure seemed to peer out at him from around a corner. Damn. I don't blame him, bro. I'd run to it, like, nah, you know what? The, he, they got the plane, bro. If they want to take the plane, they got it. Like, I'm out of there. Where is the sky? Let's see if the werewolf came back for bro. Quantum Never go into the woods and after this dark. This whole fucking person is sky. I remember Randonautica. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! That app was crazy. What if the person oh. shows up in my rear view camera? No, bitch, I can't. Uh uh. What the? Uh uh. Doesn't sound like someone is. Someone is. He said it almost sounds like someone is crying. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere by a lake. I'm not sure who or what it could be. Bro, hearing someone scream in the distance or just like scream around you is crazy. Mostly if you're in the woods, you're like, where is it coming from? Who's screaming? Wood screaming is crazy because someone could be getting killed right next to you and you don't even notice, bro. It would be crazy. Like you've maybe heard of Roanoke, it refers to this area and colony that completely vanished in 1590, ultimately making it one of the most mysterious mass disappearances in American history. The colony itself was established by Governor John White, but when John left in the late 1580s to go fetch supplies from England, he came back and found something shocking. He arrives back in Roanoke by 1590 and everyone is gone. All that was mm. left of the abandoned colony was the word Croatoan that was carved into a fence. Croatoan was the name of the Native American tribe that lived in Roanoke before the settlers stole it. So logically, we would assume they were responsible for the disappearance. But whatever really happened wasn't exactly adding up. No remains of those from the colony have ever been found. And even to this day, archaeologists have still yet to uncover any evidence of where all of those people went. In this mysterious conclusion, it would seem they simply vanished. They probably picked their bags up and just left. They're like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going across country. Imagine walking across country though. Shattered. Shattered is another humanoid creature created by Trevor Henderson. If you can't tell by now, I'm obsessed with Trevor Henderson creatures. He's said to be an extremely tall humanoid creature with pinkish reddish skin. And this is really disturbing, but his fingers are said to be six to eight inches long each. It's said that Shattered can be seen frequenting abandoned electrical services, and he loves electricity. Shattered is also extremely aggressive towards the camera, and he doesn't like people taking his photo, his video, or being stared <laughs> you can at. Tell why. As you can tell, in this caught on tape style footage, it looks like he's lunging towards the camera. <laughs> It's said that he likes to hang out at any place that has electricity, including houses. It's also said that if you have a power outage at 2.50 a.m., don't go outside to investigate because you might see Shattered outside waiting for his next victim. You have to wait until 2.58 a.m. and then you're okay to go investigate. Someone made this, I really like- You could tell why bro didn't like getting pictures taken of him. He was ugly as hell. Sometimes, you know, you're not feeling the camera, you know, you don't want- you're just like, get that- You know what I'm saying? So, understandable. Scary things in Facebook's terms and conditions you didn't know you agreed to, part two. <laughs> First, Facebook knows every single website you visit, including all of the inappropriate ones. <laughs> you can lie to anybody and clear your search history, but Facebook will always know what websites you visit. I don't understand why they do this, but they do and it's extremely weird. So next time you visit a dirty website, just remember Facebook knows exactly what you're looking at. Next up, Facebook has a map of your face. Facebook knows exactly what your face looks like, down to every single specific inch. Nah, that one's kind of weird. It's the reason Facebook is so accurate with suggested tags. And the reality of the situation is, 
Facebook probably knows your face more than you do. Nah, I had to laugh for a second. Bro said, including the dirty ones. I was like, what? <laughs> It's like he didn't even have to say that or and he didn't even have to say it like that. He could just been like, yeah, Facebook knows every single website you've been to. But that's crazy. Zuckerberg need to chill out. I wouldn't be surprised if he start cloning. Disturbing things caught at Disney parks. She's trying to distract people. From this. What the hell? It's like a jerking off. Keeps trying, but this audience will never <laughs> see what they. <laughs> Bro was beating his. Sh oh my god! <laughs> nah, this is not a creepy episode. This is a funny episode. I'm crying this episode. Hey, hey look, look a, a pizza. pizza! You gotta let, let him into your house, house now. <laughs> Bro, this man has been in probably 10 episodes now. I've seen this pizza guy at least 10 different times, bro. I promise you. Oh my gosh. Do you ever feel sometimes like you might be a witch or be a descendant of the Salem witches? Nah, if so, never. take this witch test and see. Yes, you heard me right. During the Salem witch trials, there were witch tests that were given to the accused. If they failed, they were imprisoned or worse. One way they would see if you were a witch was the skin test, which wasn't much of a test. It just consisted of authorities looking over the accused to see if they had any moles, freckles, birthmarks, scars. Back in the day, this was proof that you were a witch. Imagine being thrown in jail because you got a mole or a freckle. These people were unhinged. The next test was the prayer test, which accused were made to recite prayers or a selection of scripture from memory. If they made any kind of error while they were reciting, or heaven forbid forgot a part of the scripture, mm. we got a witch on our hands. Another terrifying exam was the swimming and dunking test. Accused witches were bound at the wrists and ankles and dropped into a body of water. If they floated, they were guilty. If they sank, they were innocent, but obviously no longer with us. And I saved the worst for last, which was the witch cake test. This was where an accused witch was forced to bake a cake with her own urine in it, what? and then forced to feed it to a dog. And if the dog had any adverse side effects after eating the cake, she was a witch. I told you, unhinged. I can only speak for myself here, but I wouldn't pass. I got quite a few freckles, and I've been known to forget some scripture now and then. If you want to hear more about these tests and all about the Salem Witch Trials, check out the most recent Avery After Dark podcast episode. I cover it all, as well as some haunted spots in Salem. Do you think that you would pass the witch test? Nah, that's wild. You have a freckle, you're a witch. You float, you're a witch. The dog gets a disease because your bacteria-filled urine, you're a witch. Bro, that's just setting you up to fail. Do you think you would pass? Put it down in the comments. These are some extremely unsettling facts. Part 30, and I found all of these on Reddit. Reddit. Now, I spoke to you guys prior about what the Russian dead hand actually was, but given current events, I feel like I should reiterate this. The Russian dead hand is effectively a rage quit button that Russia has installed. This will send rage nuclear quit. warheads wow. to hundreds of nations throughout the world. It's a very realistic end to society as we know it, but as of right now, we have no reason to believe that it will get to this point, so don't worry too much. Many fatal diseases actually have no symptoms and will randomly come about and kill you. You will be feeling amazing and healthy one day, and then all of a sudden, you will start to feel worse, you'll start to feel unhealthy, and eventually, you will die. But again, it's pretty rare, so don't worry too much. You guys, make sure to go check out my Instagram. I am answering some questions over there on my story. On average per year, chiropractors actually kill more people than sharks, and according to some studies, plane crashes as well. But these are also very rare instances and most chiropractors are trained very, very well in prestige in their craft, so don't even worry about it. And look, I know a lot of these are very scary and very real, especially given today's day and age, but that's why. I'm not gonna lie, death by chiropractor is almost as bad as death by Travis Scott concert. Yeah, just be careful of, of who cracks you, you know what I'm saying? Conspiracies are fun, and one of the most famous conspiracies is that the lunar landing was actually faked. Okay, but why would NASA do that? The space race we 
were going to be the mm -hmm. first country to put man on the moon way ahead of Russia and China. But if NASA didn't have the technology to get it done, they were going to concoct the most elaborate staged landing in history. So let's mm -hmm. look at some of the evidence here. One of the most common inconsistencies are the shadows. There's only one source of light on the moon, the sun, meaning the shadows would be going in the same direction. There's also a good number of photos where the crosshairs seem to be blocked by an object in the photo. This was also seen in a shot, a moon rock with a C on it, almost like it was a prop. But truthfully, a lot of this visual evidence is mostly debunked. I'm more interested in the tech that doesn't seem to add up here. The transmission delay was only about a half a second. Based on how far away they were, it was calculated that at minimum there would be a two second delay. That and all of the original tapes from NASA have been lost. I mean... He said lost. Yeah, they lost it now. They just chucked them files out. What do you think? Do you think they fake the space landing or do you think that was actually real? Because I know multiple people that say they faked it, multiple different people that say they didn't. It's just 50 50. So if you think it's real, put it down in the comments. If you think it's fake, put it down in the comments. I really want to know your opinion on this. This is a true horrifying story. Part 66. This story happened in the early 2000s. It was late at night. A woman was driving in an unfamiliar area. Her car was old and unreliable and soon she realized that she had to make a stop for gas. Luckily, mm. she came across a gas station in a few minutes. The gas station was very old fashioned, in the middle of nowhere. But something about this gas station seems very off. Afraid that she might not find another gas station close by, she reluctantly pulled up and she asked an attendant to fill up the tank. The attendant seemed really nervous as he was filling up the tank, but he finished his job. He then moved towards her car window for payment. She hands him the money. He carefully examined it and told her that the bill was a counterfeit or a fake. The attendant explained that he would have to take her back inside in what? order to call his manager about the counterfeit bill as it had to be reported to the bank. She got convinced. She goes inside and sits down. The attendant walks towards the station gates and locks the mm. doors. He turns around and tells her, the bill is not a counterfeit. At this point, she froze, thinking she's about to get abused. He tells her this, I had to get you out of the car because there was a man with a hatchet hiding in the back seat. This kind of crime is very common in the West. It is terrifying to realize that you are driving down the highway for a whole hour with another person hiding in your car, waiting for the right moment. Mm -mm. For a sec, I thought that story was about to take a crazy turn. I thought he was going to be like, yeah, bend that shit over, show it. but like, nah. That's crazy. You gotta be careful who's in your back seat. Every now and then, you know, you about to hop in the whip, just check like, yo, you know? Yeah, just start straight, hop in, start driving, you know what I'm saying? That's the best way to avoid that, but, cause people are weird like that. They'll somehow find a way in your car, chill in your car until you get to your location, and they start either robbing you or hatcheting you. Don't want that to happen. I don't want that to be you. So be careful, please. If you want to see why you should be careful of McDonald's, click this video that's about to pop up. Love you.